Hi guys, welcome back to Delara Studios. Let's take a peek back to the movie app. We'll be adding some functionalities to it. In this video, we'll be adding the movie review, uh, in which uh, we'll be fetching the review API based on the movie ID that was used in the trailer. If you're hitting this video for the first time, if you don't know anything about the movie app, I will implore you to check the link uh, at the top corner of your screen right now start from the first video of the movie app where we get to talk about the popular movie the uh the most rated uh the favorite and uh how we were able to set up the detail activity using the collapsible uh layout and uh, making this flow uh fluently without much ado i'll be headed straight on the studio uh, but before i do that I'd like to show you the experience right there in the emulator. If you notice, we have grids of our movie uh, thumbnails. Uh, that, that stands for the different particular kind of movies that uh, were part of the, the most rated movie. So a click on the Black Panther. Let's get to see the detail activity. Do you see uh, a very big poster of Black Panther and uh, the movie rating 7.4? while you could add, add that to the favorite uh, which is going to go straight to the favorite db and uh, you have the uh the plot synopsis of the movie uh details so we could actually have uh, our trailer and uh, the review uh we get seen uh, cool. we have the trailer right there you see the list of trailer uh, of this movie uh we shoot trailer the warriors of wakanda and so on so underneath the list we should have uh the review over there could you see different reviews that were made from uh probably different viewers or some uh well-known uh you know a reviewer to review the uh the movie so a click on this takes you down to the web url or let's say to the web uh, uh to the to, to, to chrome if you have chrome rather in your device it depends on the kind of browser you want uh, to use in uh, launching or uh, uh, visualizing this. I'm kind of having a very slow internet here. That's why I'm having this uh, kind of little uh, lag or slowness in the network. That's it. That's the review of uh, this particular selection. So we're going to be showing you on how to, I'll be showing you right there on how to include this uh, in your mobile app application. And uh, so that you could have a fluid. If you notice the scrolling, it's not lagging in any form. Uh, from the trailer to the review, that's two different lists uh, of our uh, items. We have a trailer bunch of lists and the review also bunch of lists. And we are trying to bring them together in uh, a detail or in an activity. It could be a fragment, it could be an activity. And uh, set without forgetting that we need to also add some other stuff at the top the uh plot synopsis text view uh the uh user rating uh depicting uh the the art sign uh probably when you select this you are trying to add uh to the favorites you could see that and the collapsible uh bar which has the bigger poster of the black panther without much ado let's head straight to the studio and let's see how we get to achieve this via code let me, let me knock this out cool. now let's get to look at this we'll be starting from the build gradle uh where we'll be adding the dependency called the mortar snap recycle view that this one multi, uh, mortar snap recycle view assists uh or let's say it helps to include uh multiple lists of items the multiple recycle view items into your activity uh, without actually uh, getting uh, taking away the user experience from it, it's going to have a very fluid and a, a smooth scroll across board. You could have uh, the, the the horizontal flow, you could have the vertical, you could have um, you could have a staggered grid if you like. So it depends on the kind of recycle view layout uh, you're looking at here. So you have that uh, setup now, including that on line 37. Of that setup and uh, you're good to go so you could actually sync gradle have the application ready we'll be 
starting from the layout in the activity detail we have to include uh, the tag to the mod to snap site looking uh, which i just close this up uh, we gotta do that right at the bottom because that's where we have it we have it at the lowest part and uh we'll be tweaking uh the the, the trailer as well to take the same flow so starting from the trailer we have this if you should see the tag the multi snap recycle view is going to replace the old time recycle view that we've been known to use uh, and the same thing goes for the uh the review which sits at the bottom over here uh the multi snap recycle view so if you notice something uh where actually you act you need to actually add the snap count to one over there which is the first and the one underneath you could give a snap count of two so it's actually going to know that okay this is uh side by side in linear format so i will employ you to actually take a cue on that and do it uh, appropriately with this you're good to go uh you set up your uh, snap recycler view uh, so let's start to listen to that and let's tie the apis to listen and to bind this adapt and so on we'll get to look at the review card that's the item itself uh, which will be sitting uh on the on the recycler view definitely a recycler view needs uh, uh an item layout to bind to uh, so we'll be having that and the first text view right there in the layout is the review auto the auto the, the person the review the, the movie and the text view which is going to be a link i can't just embed a bunch of our review into the app it's going to uh bloat it and it's going to be unnecessary unduly long and and you don't really need that since you have uh calling apps that could undo that and could actually display uh link content for you so we're going to stick with the link which is cool uh, you have that as the text underneath the auto name that's for the layout from here i add straight to the classes and let's see how we're going to actually structure the classes over here we were looking at the service which is the api endpoint uh the retrofit api endpoint uh that's where we should start from when we're talking about uh, integration uh we comment that in line 27 in the reviews and uh if you notice you need to get the reviews uh pointing at the movie forward slash the movie id forward slash the reviews while the movie id is like a wild card it's unknown so you need to pass that as a path params uh which you have right there in the get review as a path uh to the movie id it's an integer it's listening to an integer and it also needs uh the api key which you have right there so we'll be actually passing those parameters when calling this endpoint you need to set up your module the plain object java <coughs> excuse me uh which will be listening to uh the uh, the conversion the json conversion of your json to java objects so you have that uh set up implementing the pass label very important i will employ to always implement pass label in your in your model so that you could have a uh, lot of stuff to, to to handle or to to push down uh to another class if you need to do that and uh, it's actually faster than the serializable so you have that set up you could actually generate this from the json schema project uh, i've explained this time with our numbers how to actually convert your json to uh, the java set and get method so that you could actually uh, take use of them we have also the review results the results actually gives rise to uh the, the, the review itself so you have that uh, set up as well implementing possible in the detail activity you will need to call the api i won't be talking about other previous quotes because i have that committed in different videos starting from part one where we start up up to the trailer up to the share of uh, uh, up to the share the share image i'll be i'll be i'll employ you to check this link as i've said uh it's actually a bumper package a full playlist of the movie app this is just uh an inclusion of that so it will be added straight to where we really need to uh, look at which is the, for the review purpose that we are integrating into the movie app presently 
that's why we'll head straight to the method called load review. You see the two view over there. Load review. Uh, we need to load the review into the layout. Uh, the same flow of the way you actually loaded uh, the the trailer. Just going to mimic that as well. The user try and catch to catch an exception in the course of connecting to the network. And you test if uh, the there is a uh, token, which is uh, the API key, if it's present. But if not, just return. Don't even go. Uh, don't take a merry go round trip to, to to fetch any data since you don't have an API key. But if it you have, you move further to the else statement, uh, where you need to initialize a client and get the method get review. Well, you need to pass the movie ID. You've gotten that when you click on click listener to uh, the grid. Uh, actually, it generated. It takes along uh, the movie ID to the detail activity where you get to uh, use it. Now you're passing uh, the token, and from there you enqueue. Uh, this is a uh, data type. When you queue up uh, the response call uh, to the API, you instantiate the callback. In turn, you override two methods. On response and on failure. On response is when you have a full uh, response you know, which are, which is usable. You could test if the response is successful and if the response body is not close to null. And from there, you extract what you need. Just look at line 264 where we get to instantiate the multi snap recyclable. Uh, we point at its appropriate ID and from there, you get to set up the, the layout manager, the kind of layout you're looking at, a linear layout here. Yeah? And you set your layout manager to the object of the snap recycler. After that, you instantiate the review adapter because you need to bind the list item to an adapter and you pass the review result, which is the result you've gotten from the API. From there, the review adapter will trigger, will start working at this point in time. So let's get to see the review adapter uh, that's going to actually get the work done for us. Just like the movie adapter that binds uh, the grids, uh, the trailer adapter that binds the trailer video, the movie, the review adapter too is going to bind the review. Extends the recycle view adapter, passing the recycle view, uh, the view order that is going to start to serve as the data order. Uh, you instantiate the constructor where you pass in the context, which is the context from the detail activity and the content, which is the data, the list of reviews. Those are the two you need to initialize there. And on create view order, you call the review card, which is the items that will be binded to the recycle view. And on bind view order, you get to bind those values. But before you bind the value, you need to have initialized in the abstract class or in the inner class, the anonymous class called the my view order, where you need to call its appropriate ID to the title and the URL. You see that, and from there you could bind to the map on bind view. That I'd like you to look at something. We're getting the URL as a mere text, as a text, but now you need to convert that to a link, a clickable link. How will you do that? That it's a library from Java called Linkify, which uh, you could add to the text that you are implementing the Linkify. Make it link it, link it up. Uh, put hyperlink from the word hyperlink when you're dealing with text or type setting. Uh, you add the links to the URL and you point to the web URL. So from there, in turn, the system will know that you're trying to call a browser to get this uh, done for you. Just pass the link to the browser and the browser will display no matter how long the, list, the, the content of the list could be. So that's just it. How smooth it will be. You've integrated uh, the review into your mobile app smoothly and you could see uh, from the from the screencast or from the emulator uh, where we look at how the links were uh, how they were sitting right there underneath uh, the trailer list so thank you very very much uh, for hanging out with me throughout uh, this implementation I'll be committing the code to another branch called review so that you could actually pull you could clone you could download and do and get the source code from my github account and I implore you to strike on the channel, subscribe, share the video, let people, let your friends learn Android and even Java, let them understand the principles behind Android development. Thank you very, very much. Have a wonderful time. Bye-bye for now.